What sort of impression has Stolarz made on you? Yeah, obviously a, a very good, uh, very good goaltender. I think uh, real good sense of uh, who he is as a uh, uh, as a player, and, and you know what brings uh, the best out of himself, uh, the strengths uh, that he has. Obviously, a, a big guy uh, moves very well, very calm in the net. So, same type of demeanor, kind of off the ice as well. Just uh, uh, just a really chill uh, type of dude. Facing Sheldon for the first time, how would you describe what he meant to to you in your career? Yeah, it made a great impact on me. I think, uh, you know, when you have a coach uh, for a significant amount of time like that, uh, you go through a lot, you learn a lot about each other, not just uh, uh, through the game and the team, but uh, uh, personally as well. So, um, yeah, he uh, helped me a ton uh, as, as I've evolved uh, through my time here in Toronto. So, um, very appreciative for the impact he's made on me and um, the group as well. I think uh, uh, we've grown a lot while he was here uh, and uh, I know he did everything he could to uh, help us have success. How much change is Mark looking to make on the power play? Uh, not a ton. I, I talked about um, I talked about throughout training camp uh, really want us to rely on our instincts um, a, a lot which I, I you know with the group that we have have been together for a long time have had a lot of success. Uh, I think is uh, is very positive, but at the same time, um, we do have to uh, be very aware of, of what brings success, and sometimes just keeping it simple and being direct. And um, you know, we had a pretty good preseason and training camp with it. Obviously, I uh, uh, would have liked to have done a better job last night, but uh, opportunity to regroup here today and and um, grow grow from that, and, and know that we got to be better. Jake, what sort of impression has uh, Stolarz made on you so far? Yeah, he was excellent last night. Um, you know, not surprising, honestly. Um, had a great camp and uh, been around for a little while, so he um, came up big, especially in the, you know, all those penalty kills early. What improvements do you think the team needs to make from last night? Um, I think, uh, you know, getting that those first game jitters is, is nice to get out of the way, and I thought we kind of settled in nicely after the first period. Obviously, too many penalties. Uh, so just that discipline aspect and uh, trying to get to our game right away um, to start tonight. What does Tanev bring to the penalty kill? Just a you know really calm demeanor out there and um, can kind of help direct traffic and um, make sure everyone's on the same page before the faceoffs and uh, we've had good communication throughout camp and you know just trying to learn from each other and learn each other's tendencies and uh, just talking about whatever the whatever the power play we're facing that night brings and um, you know how we're going to be successful in killing the penalty. What's the biggest thing you learned in your time with Sheldon Keefe? Um, I thought Kiefer um, you know had. To, a nice time here with him for a year and a half, and um, learned a lot from him. He had his he had his, he, he had his way of, of coaching, and um, learned a lot of the, on the offensive side of things of, of how to attack and whatnot. And um, yeah, he was a uh, a good influence for me for sure. You like about playing with Oliver? Ollie's um, once again. You talk about Tanny, just another calm presence back there that's been around for a while, and. Uh, you know, he's got a great long stick. I think that's uh, underappreciated is his defensive abilities. And obviously with the puck, he can do special things. He can sling it from the point. He can walk the line real good and, um, you know, kill penalties, run the power play. So he's uh, very versatile for us. Have you ever been involved at any level in a game where your team had 48 shots and got shut out? Probably. Um, I don't know. I've played this game for quite a while now, so that, uh, that happens some nights. Are you going with uh, in that? Hilda be in, be in that. Okay. Uh, what led to that decision? Well, Stolarz played last night, and uh, with Wool being out uh, right now, um, I didn't figure I'd go back with Stolarz tonight. Uh, Hilda be able to get the start. Uh, you know, he's played well in preseason. Um, really liked his game in Montreal in preseason. Um, so he'll be in that tonight. Do you say anything to a kid who's playing his first NHL game, or do you leave him alone? How do you approach it? Well, you leave him alone, like, you know, um, especially a goalie, I think. He, he knows he knows what he's doing. He's, you know, he's had some experience, not a lot, but, again, he's just going to go and do his job and play his game. Why did he get the, the call versus a guy like Matt Murray, who obviously has a lot of experience, although he didn't play a lot last year? Yeah, that's uh, a management thing. What sort of adjustments are you looking for in front of the goalie here tonight? Yeah, we, we had traffic, uh, you're talking offensively. Yeah. Yeah, we had traffic last night. I think that we didn't capitalize on rebounds enough. Um, I think we can 
go downhill a little bit more offensively. Um, I felt times where we got pucks to the net, obviously, but uh, we didn't get the rebounds enough for me. What are some of the challenges that the Devils present? Speed, you know, skill for sure. Um, you know, they play a fast game. Um, you know, their power play is dangerous, so a lot of speed and skill over there. I know it's just two games, Craig, but do you see any differences in the style and how they're playing this year as compared to last year? Well, there's some tendencies. There's different things for sure. They got a new coach, you know, but in general, like, you know, they play fast. I mean, you know, with Brat and Hughes and these guys, like, they can get behind you, and we got to make sure we keep them in front of us tonight. How well do you know Sheldon? Yeah, fairly well, yeah. 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 Did you talk to him before you took this job about what? Uh, a little bit, team? yeah. We spoke a little bit in the summer. Or I can't remember exactly when, but uh, yeah. And also, I got to know him last year a little bit uh, at those meetings we had in Chicago with the league. Um, we sat at a table together for a little bit. Uh, you know, very good coach, great guy. The biggest teams have a certain style? Like, have you picked up on yeah, how he likes Yeah, for sure. To... I mean, you know, I think that. Uh, He's, he's very good with skilled players, and um, you know his teams have always scored a lot of goals. Does it, make a goal Does it make a difference that he knows your team so well? Well, of course, he knows the tendencies of all our players, uh, the guys he's coached here for a number of years. So, but you know, it's still you go out, you got to go out, play the game, and execute. That's the bottom line. Outside of the goalie, any lineup changes tonight? Yeah, Mc, uh, Bobby McMahon will be in. What are you looking for from him? Well, using his size and his speed for sure, uh, being a power forward kind of player, that's what he should be. Uh, you know, he can really skate and strong on pucks and, uh, you know, take things to the net and get to the net offensively and be responsible defensively. Is there anything difficult? Is there anything difficult about being the opponent in an opener? Um, not necessarily, except there's a lot of waiting around, I find, you know, with all the introductions and everything. But I didn't feel that played into us last night. I thought our start was good. We, we took a penalty early to kind of killed our momentum a little bit. But, um, you know, our guys were ready to go last night. And, you know, we got to do the same tonight. You know, it's uh, back to back, you know, on the road, but in home openers. But we got to mentally be ready to go and, and uh, you know, have a strong start, you know, manage things early, um, be straight lined, you know, play north early and um, be patient, you know, don't allow them to get above us tonight.